Well, hello everybody, welcome back. So we have failed once again. I have started doing more research, digging into strategy, and I know exactly what to do now. This is an interesting strategy and it works and I can see why it works. And it kind of goes against common sense. So what you actually want to do, not let people like make tools and make radiation protection suits, but don't let anyone use them. Basically you wait for a catastrophe to hit and then you let people use them. Now you're asking yourself, how do you get rid of radiation? So irrigation plants push out radiation so what you actually want to do is not have a spread out base like this i was building my base as i wanted it to look as a thousand pot but i'm gonna have to do is build a compact base and use irrigation plants to keep radiation out because i can keep radiation out of my area that means that i don't have to worry about radiation poisoning or any of that stuff so all you really need to do is just make sure you have a ton of water and a ton of food and that's it you don't have to worry about anything else but to build these irrigation plants you need plastic in the beginning this is crazy because i i didn't know the strategy about the strategy till I just read it and I'm like wow that makes a ton of sense so I'm going to try this strategy out because I just keep dying from these massive radiations uh, storms so you build these irrigation plants periodically uh, keep everything out and build build everything as close together and compact as possible at the beginning and then just slowly rearrange it so I have a strategy for success now <laughs> and I I'm going to try it out. Like I just, everything just kept dying from radiation poisoning. And, um, this game has changed uh, a lot in two years. Like I, the strategies I used two years ago don't necessarily work anymore. You may not even actually need to use this two road system for everything unless you want electricity for everything. I'm probably going to end up still using this system. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is because I'm bringing an irrigation to the whole design is not having the farms around the lake, but having the farms between the housing and the industrial area as a buffer for desirability. Another thing that I learned is that desirability uh, range on these hedges is huge. So like putting them here in the middle is actually perfect. Um, that just basically hits everything in there. So this, everything I've shown you is still useful. The mistakes I made was not using a much more compact design. And the biggest thing, of course, is this irrigation plant to ward off all of the radiation. So if you followed along so far, thank you so much for your patience with me and watching uh, my process. Like this is the process I take when I play a new game or anything is I I play it, I see what's wrong. I, I Google how people deal with it and I look at the strategies that have been successful for others. And then I implement them into my own design and I try to come up with my own stuff. But uh, I try to incorporate my own design and other people's designs into my videos. That way I'm giving like the best information possible. So I'm going to start a whole new Let's Play series that I think is going to be ridiculously more successful. This strategy that I read was used for the brutal difficulty, so I think it will work on the very hard difficulty.